potatoes are a very important food crop both nationally and globally. They're also some of the most profitable, nutritious, and tastiest vegetables on the market. Louisiana is one of the top sweet potato producing states in America. In fact, sweet potatoes add over $100 million to the Louisiana economy each year. Growing sweet potatoes is a year-long process and producers are always involved in one or more stages. These stages include plant production, transplanting and commercial field production, harvesting, storage, packaging, and marketing. Sweet potato production begins with seed potatoes saved from the previous year's crop. From these seed potatoes, we harvest plants, termed slips or transplants, which are grown in seed beds. The slips are then planted into commercial production fields. True or false, you need about 15 bushels of seed potatoes to produce enough slips to plant an acre of sweet potatoes. That's false. It takes about 25 to 30 bushels of potato seed to produce enough slips to transplant and grow an acre of sweet potatoes. Producers supplement their conventional seed stock with virus-tested foundation certified seed. That is seed that's been screened for the presence of known viruses. A vegetatively propagated crop such as sweet potato can rapidly accumulate viruses and mutations which can decrease quality and yield of the crop. So the main goal of the foundation seed program is to maintain the quality and integrity of commercial varieties. The Beauregard cultivar, originally released in 1987 by the LSU Ag Center, was known nationwide as the savior of the sweet potato industry, and it has remained a successfully cultivated sweet potato variety in the U.S. Even with Beauregard's success, the LSU Ag Center has continued to create alternative commercial varieties. The bedding process, which begins in late February or early March, requires several steps. The seed potatoes are first removed from storage and are placed in large bedding wagons for distribution in the field. The plant beds are spaced five to six feet apart and the seed is evenly distributed in each bed by a conveyor belt on the bedding wagon. Afterwards, the seed is often rolled to ensure even and adequate soil coverage. Before covering the seed with soil, a fungicide is applied to discourage and prevent diseases. The seed is then covered with two to three inches of soil using a bed covering machine. Afterwards, a plastic mulch layer is applied and is secured in place by soil on each side of the bed. The purpose of the mulch layer is to warm the soil in the bed and to promote earlier sprouting. The plastic is removed from the beds in five to six weeks once the sprouts are visible. An additional two to four weeks are required before the plants reach a desired length and quality for transplanting. The slips or transplants are either cut by hand or mechanically with slip or plant cutting machines. Drums when the sweet potato piper plays. Go on, throw your hat up. They are then boxed and carried to the production fields where they will be planted. True or false? The ideal length of a sweet potato transplant or slip is 10 to 14 inches long. That's true. The length of the plant to be transplanted is supposed to be 10 to 14 inches long with at least two nodes on the plant. Planting of the sweet potato crop takes place in mid-May through the month of June in Louisiana. If necessary, planting can extend into July, but only if there is enough moisture for planting. Producers routinely apply pesticides to manage insects, weeds, and diseases. Mechanical transplanters vary in size and can plant from one to eight rows with each pass across the field. Two people are responsible for planting one row and they alternate planting while moving down the field. The sweet potato crop matures in 100 to 120 days depending on the cultivar, the growing conditions, and the spacing of the plants. 
The first step in the harvesting process is to divine or remove all of the foliage and vegetative material from the field. This helps with the digging process. True or false? Sweet potatoes and yams are the same thing. That's false. The name yam has been used to market sweet potatoes in the United States and often the names are used interchangeably. But true yams are actually not the same as sweet potatoes. There are different plant species. The crop is most commonly harvested using one to four row mechanical chain diggers. The two row mechanical harvester is the most common harvester used in Louisiana. As the harvester travels down the row, the sweet potatoes are moved along a chain on each side of the harvester. Laborers sort through the sweet potatoes, field grading them into different marketing classifications, including U.S. number ones, jumbos, and canner sweet potatoes. Hey, sweet potato. How do you do? I'm fresh from Decatur looking for some sweet potato like you. At the end of the harvesting process, the sweet potatoes are placed in 20 bushel or larger bulk bins. Next, they're moved into curing and storage facilities. Cause I'm gonna love you, baby, like you never have been loved before. True or false? Sweet potatoes are at their sweetest, fresh out of the ground. That's false. Freshly harvested sweet potatoes, referred to as green, are not as sweet, soft, and moist as properly cured sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes can be marketed year-round, and the quality will vary depending on the time of the year, along with the duration and quality of storage. Sweet potatoes can be shipped green soon after harvesting, but more commonly, they are subject to a curing process. The curing process involves holding freshly harvested sweet potatoes at 85 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit and 85 to 95 percent humidity for five to seven days. This process accomplishes several things. It sets the skin, heals wounds and abrasions, and begins converting starch to sugars, which makes the sweet potatoes tastier. The sweet potatoes are then held for six weeks or longer in a well-ventilated storage facility at 55 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit and 85 to 90 percent humidity. Sweet potatoes at this point are referred to as cured and they're at their sweetest, meaning they're preferred by customers. I'm just crazy about my sweet potato. Yes, sir. My sweet potato is crazy for me. Yeah. My sweet potato is crazy about me. Sweet potatoes are held in storage facilities until they are packed and shipped to market. Under ideal storage conditions, they can be stored and sold for a year or longer. Fresh cured Louisiana sweet potatoes are shipped across the U.S. and worldwide. The previous year's crop is usually sold before the current year's harvest even begins. True or false? The term yams was first used to describe sweet potatoes in Louisiana. That's true. Using the name yams to describe sweet potatoes was a marketing tool started in 1937 to help distinguish Louisiana's softer, sweeter, and moister varieties from the drier varieties grown on the East Coast. Sweet potatoes sold for processing are most often moved in bulk to various processing facilities. There, they are turned into a number of different value-added sweet potato products for consumers. Products like canned sweet potatoes, chips, fries, cookies and other flour-based items, juices, baby food, and pet food. Sweet potato, sweet potato, sweet potato pie. Sweet potato, sweet potato, sweet potato pie. Sweet potato, sweet potato So the next time you help yourself to a nice baked sweet potato, or eat a tasty slice of sweet potato pie, or any sweet potato product, you'll know that a lot of work went into producing one of the most nutritious vegetables around. The work is time-consuming and difficult, but the fruits of the labor, oh, how sweet they are. <laughs>